Nobody listened to Sonny the Bunny. Not when he screamed, not when he was funny. Sonny would joke, but nobody heard. He thought it was sad and kind of absurd. See? So Sonny made plans to go far away. He hopped to a town where bunnies would say, We like all your jokes and the way that you are. So Sonny laughed then, hearty har har. And who wrote that? I did. That was pretty bad. That's not very nice. What if I told you you were short? I am short. <laughs> so am I. What did you think? Hardy har har? What does that mean? It comes from the old country. Sonny needs a girlfriend. Then he wouldn't be a lonely loser. I need a raise. A really big raise. We all do here. I never heard of a stand-up comedian who was a rabbit. I guess I felt inspired. Do you have a girlfriend? No. You and Sonny both need a life. Hey, a friend of mine is having a party this weekend. Would you like to come? Oh, I'd love to, but um, I'm busy this weekend. OK. Another time, then. Uh, sure. Why don't you have a girlfriend? I didn't have an answer. That's not true. You don't have a girlfriend because you're... You're gay. I can't say that to an eight-year-old. Hell, I, I, I can't say it to anybody. That's the freaking truth. I'm sorry. So this story, Sonny the Bunny, let me take a guess. You are Sonny. I don't know. You are totally Sonny the Bunny, the gay comedian that can't speak up, except you're a bunny. Well, it's, it's easier to be a bunny. Is it? Yeah. Or a dog, or a bird. It's just, it's easier than being... Afraid. Quiet. Afraid. Shy? Okay. You're not making any progress. Something's gotta change. You've been coming to me for two years, Vinny. I'm sorry, Vincent, but that was the perfect example right there. You can't actually say out loud, I don't like to be called Vinny. I was trying to be polite. I thought you'd get this after two years. You're a nice guy, Vincent. Probably the quintessential nice guy. You're funny and you're smart and I can't help you. What? I'm sorry. I just, I don't, these sessions, I get so enraged and I, you leave and I am like angry and like sweating and yeah, our sessions are making me very angry. And that is not a productive place to come from as a therapist. So you're dumping me because I'm, because I'm kind? I've never done this, but yeah. If I were meaner, could I stay? No. I could call you names. Okay. Like what? Mean girl. No. Jerk face. No. Shrinky dink. Therapist jokes are beneath you. I could be louder. You're missing the point. I need you to just like, get out there and just say, I'm gay. Just come out to a friend or a family member, someone, anyone. Say it to a baby. They won't remember. I'm sorry, I know, I'm completely unprofessional right now, but I am only human and I'm at my breaking point. The problem is you don't seem to have a breaking point. Vinny. I'm gonna go now.
Better. Teacher. No. That's close to librarian or whatever you are. You have lots to talk about. No, Mom. She's 35. No spring chicken, but she's ready to settle. Oh, she'd be settling all right. Vinny. I don't want to be one of those mothers. But you and your brother are making me into one of those mothers. Not one wedding. Not even a child made from sin. Vinny, how many times have we set this table together? Is this a quiz? Do I get a prize? Make your jokes. But your father and I are starting to plot your murder. Mom, you watch way too much true crime. And you sit there right next to me, Vinny. Vincent. I can call you what I want. I'm your mother. Mom? Get him an ice pack. Dad, calm down. You have to fight with everybody. Who the hell wants to be a boxer anyway? The god dinged my car. Oh, so for a ding, he should get hit. I suppose that makes you a ding dong. Oh, Dad, you tell the worst jokes. Why do you have to do this? I'm a boxer, Mom. I can't help it. You're a mechanic. He never made one dime being a boxer, Ronald. It's Rocky, Mom. Jesus. You're Rocky, he's Vincent. One of you hates your name, the other's a slave to it. The two of you are circus freaks. With no wives. You should both get a life. Marshall, did you make money today? You don't have to worry, mate. A hardware store will be there tomorrow. I'll relive the same day I've had since the minute we got married and end up boring myself to death. Which reminds me, Vinny, did your mother tell you about her, what's her name? Ellen. Her name is Ellen. She's 35 and she's a teacher. Definitely sounds popable, Vinny. Get on that. I don't need to pop, thanks. Why? You need to pop more than anyone I know. I don't need to pop. You don't pop. Have you ever popped? I have popped. What is popping? They're talking about sex, Marshall. You should move in with me, Vin. My apartment's like a mass of balloons and I'm the pin, you know, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Can I write that down? No one will ever believe it. What, for the stand-up act that never happens? And the girlfriend that never happens? You need to get on that, Vin. What are you, like, 40? You're, you're like half done. I'm getting on it, believe me. Thank you very much. And I popped. Oh, well, you haven't been popping in this house, we'd know. The walls are like paper. Well, maybe you're using paper dolls. Oh, Dad, you're the worst. You can use this stuff when you finally do your act. Well, I already did my act. I did an open mic earlier today. What? Well, how'd it go? Hi, how you doing? So, do you all like sports? I don't. <laughs> the only ball I play is when Lucy's on TV. Because I didn't like the uniforms. Costumes? Outfits. You didn't play sports because you were terrible at them, Ben. Not now, Rock. <clears throat> no big deal. The world needs people to sing in the choir, too. Just uh, never would have been me. Choir stories aren't funny. Then make them funny. Isn't that what comedians do? They use themselves? They tell their deepest, darkest secrets to complete strangers? Maybe I should tell my secrets to people I know first. 
then they wouldn't be blindsided when I'm a big star. Now, did you kill someone, Vic? Because that ain't too funny. Rock, get in here. Gladiator time. Just be yourself. You're adorable and people love you. Here tonight? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a big raging queer. I don't know anything about sports. 